One of the first major events in developing your reserve study is the site inspection. Now, your reserve study provider will show up and do all the heavy lifting, but it's important to know how you can help prepare for and assist during the inspection to make it as effective as possible. In this portion of our Breaking Down the Reserve Study Process webinar, I give you a preview of a typical process, helping you get familiar with what is ahead. Every year, associations of all types, sizes, and ages hire an experienced, independent professional to update their reserve study, so there's no reason to be surprised. Follow along and I'll even share some site inspection photos to get you comfortable with what's in store for you and your association in this portion of the reserve study process. Getting it done. What's that actually look like? What's the process look like? Well, let's presume that you've hired someone to prepare a WIS site visit type of report for you. So it starts with that site inspection meeting, actually getting it done. So at that point in time, we will have probably been to the property for 15 minutes or a half hour, kind of looking around, uh, making sure the building is as we expect it from the maps we've been provided. So expect to provide an overview, answer a few questions. Maybe it might be something as simple as uh, we say, we see the trees are overgrown. Is that handled as a reserve project or is that part of ongoing landscape maintenance? Things that you wouldn't have thought to tell us in advance, but we're going to ask some of those questions and you're going to hand over the keys or you're going to hang with us for a while, opening those uh, restricted access areas. And then once you do that, we're on our own. I want to assure you that the site inspection is likely going to take hours, but your responsibility ends with the meeting and getting us into those restricted access areas. There's no need to accompany the site inspector for the hours that they're doing their job. Inspecting, measuring, evaluating, documenting, photographing, that's just not time well spent on your part. And we actually work a little more efficient and a little more effectively when we are not talking and guiding and uh, teaching as we're doing the site inspection. We're busy working. And so that's another pro tip. Now, the other part of that is when we are on site, we like to get things done within a day because conditions change and assets tend to move. So if it's a large project, we in the reserve study industry typically accomplish this with more people. We like to get done with a project in a day. That way we're not bugging you. We're not uh, relying on your time and things don't tend to move around or change. So the larger site inspections that are done in the reserve site industry are typically done with teams. Maybe someone assigned to the outside assets, the parking lots, the roadway, the street lights, the entry signs, maybe someone assigned to mechanical equipment, someone assigned to the recreational equipment, that kind of stuff. But we break it down and it's a team aspect. And so we then start working on your project. That may be trudging through the snow, looking at the perimeter fencing, and we can have a great access to the buildings because the trees are all in winter mode. Or like on the top right, the trees are perhaps beautiful because of the fall colors. And um, we have to keep our eyes down to look at the rust spots on the roof flashing or looking at uh, some puddling on the roof or the repairs to the roof surface. Or down on the bottom left, I want to talk to you about this picture. This is a garage underneath a big building. And the people parking next to this structure all the time, you see, you and I see the cracks in this picture. And that starts to give us a little bit of a uncomfortable feeling. But this is what I mean by familiarity blindness. I see rusted pipes and I see cracks in structural elements. And that starts to make our project manager nervous. And that's when you're going to get an email or phone call back from the project manager saying, hey, you're sure you don't have a, a structural evaluation? You need one. Or it may be some simple things, just outside assets, measuring the roof, counting the stairwells, measuring the ironwork, uh, measuring the tile roof, asphalt, all those kinds of things. But we are going to catch your deteriorated uh, gate opener and the rusty chain. And this is going to be one of those things that are a telltale of how well you're doing maintaining your property. And as I suggested, expect that you might be given homework after the site inspection. That'll fill in the project history uh, story. What, uh, why did I see this on that building? And we'll again ask for the project information. What was done? Why? Where? How often is that being done? When was it done? By whom? We'll ask for their contact information and ask how much that project cost. 
At Association Reserves, we make the present less stressful and the future more secure. If you want to join us in this mission, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see us address in a future video. Let's plan for your best future.